Well, our KSL Olympic team is in Tokyo, is still within their 14-day quarantine window, meaning they haven't really been allowed to get out into the city to bring us some of those culture stories we all love. However, there is a way for us here in Utah to get a little bit of Japanese culture. Olympic specialist Alex Ferrero joins us live in Tokyo tonight. Alex, you're talking about art here. Absolutely, and you know what? Big surprise for us, we are now out of quarantine. Finally, our team was able to get out and about just a little bit to, tech, to check out some of the culture and such, and we can't wait to get out more to see some of the art and some of the museums here in Tokyo and such. But before I left Utah to come here to Tokyo, I visited the Utah Museum of Fine Arts in Salt Lake City, where a brand new exhibit just happened to open right before these games got going. For those who may find museums boring, just show them a sword. Ask a kid of any age, swords are cool. The craftsmanship, the precision, the beauty, even though we all know what swords were used for. They are weapons of war, but yet they're also works of art. And at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts, it's the art that's recognized. This samurai sword is one of several pieces of a new exhibit celebrating the art of Japan. It's not a coincidence. This permanent exhibit opened just a couple of months before the Tokyo Olympics when lots of people might be interested in Japanese culture after seeing the sites broadcast during the games. We wanted to build upon that excitement and for the audience to keep coming to the museum to see that there's always something new. Museum curator Luke Kelly says the gallery was planned for last year before the Olympics, but like the games was pushed back a year because of COVID. The pieces include art like these prints to this fully articulated metal bird. And it's hard to miss the samurai suit of armor, which shows the fine work of more than just one person. It is a metal worker, but he's also working with a textile worker, with a leather worker, to create a suit of armor that not only protects you from swords and guns, but it's also very easy to wear. It's only about 40 pounds compared to European armor, which could usually be 100 or 200 pounds. And like the sword, it's pretty cool. I very much love this art. <laughs> you can also learn about the art of printmaking or even make your own miniature Japanese screen art on certain days. Just check with the museum if you are interested. But again, Dan and Debbie, our KSL team, we are now out of quarantine today. We are looking forward to getting out there and experiencing some of this Japanese culture for ourselves. And we will definitely bring you those stories. We're Back definitely excited about to hear those yes, stories. Yeah. And I'm glad you're out of quarantine and all is well out there. You're looking great out there, Alex. Keep up the great yeah, work. Thanks. Good.